Greetings once again, this is Max with IdealSatelliteServices.com and I have exciting news. Today we're going to assemble the WS7630 satellite dish. Such as to what kind of tools you're going to require. You're going to need a crescent wrench. You're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench, hopefully with a swivel head. That also always comes in real handy. This one's ratchet. And you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver to assemble the satellite dish, especially when we get to the uh, LMB bracket. All right, let's begin by assembling the uh, reflect reflector bracket. And if you can tell right here, there's a little arrow on the reflector bracket that is going to be pointing up. And then we'll take the uh, J pipe that's going to hold the LMB and the LMB clamp onto the front side where the you have the uh, spacing right here. This will slide right into place. And Okay, now that we have the uh, bolts tightened down on the reflector bracket, the J pipe should look like this. Tabs towards the back, the pipe should angle up to the front. Okay, before we go into the next step, you need to identify which one of these holes you need to place your M bracket onto the reflector bracket. Now, if you take this whole unit and turn it where the LMB arm is pointing to the right, you will see here on this side a letter A. The hole directly above the letter A is the hole you want to utilize for installing your M bracket. Your M bracket has a tab on the back side where it keeps the pole from sliding or the satellite dish from sliding all the way down the pole. You will take this M bracket, slip it over the reflector bracket, Take a number 11 carriage bolt, slide it through the holes, and place a 10 millimeter nut through the other side. This will be your pivoting bolt. And again, I repeat, it needs to go in the which is the hole directly above the A. We'll take another carriage bolt, poke it through the other side, finger tighten the nut on there. And now we will place another carriage bolt under the sliding point here. As you can see that will slide up and down like that. We'll take the carriage bolt number 11, slide it through that square hole there. We'll take a number 20 plastic bolt, slip it through. You, you're supposed to put two of them. So you put two plastic bolts on there, I mean washers, and then you take the nut and slip it in there, tighten it down, finger tight. Flip it around, and you will have the other carriage bolt that slips through the little window here. Take two number 20 plastic bolts, slip them through, take your nut, and tighten that down, finger tight. All right, your next step is gonna be very easy. Just take your 10 millimeter ratchet there. I always like to set the, the elevation before I install them, and up here is about 32 degrees. So I'll set it right about 32 degrees and snug it down. Both sides. Okay, after we've assembled the uh, reflector bracket and the end bracket, we're going to have to take the number 16 clamp bolt and slide it from behind the uh, end bracket, just like that. We'll take the number four. We'll take the number four bracket and slip that over the bolts. Take the number 17 nuts and uh, start those on the uh, threads. Just like that. And uh, you are now done. Now we're going to assemble the LMB bracket, which is the number nine assembly. It comes with the C-clamp and the uh, pull attachment. You will also need the number 14 bolt to attach the number nine assembly to the uh, LMB arm 
or pipe I should say and you're going to need a, two number five Phillips screw tips and number 18 nuts. You'll have to have three of those available for you. Now we'll go ahead and as assemble the bracket. It, if you notice this has a little channel. This channel will actually slip right onto the LMB arm just like this. It'll slide into the hole like that. You can take a LMB such as the ESX521, uh, place the clamp over the LMB. Now this side here has uh, 0 through 20 to, on both sides. That needs to be pointing towards the satellite dish so you can actually read the lettering. 0 in the middle, 20 to the left, and 20 to the right so you can adjust your LMB from left to right. So we'll place the number 15 bolts through the hole on the uh, C-clamp. Slip one of the thin number 18 nuts through the gap here, start the, nut, uh, the screw, just like that. We'll take a number 15 again, Phillips head, another number 18 nut, slide it in there. Start the, LM, the, uh, the screw. All right, in my area, the skew is negative 16, so I'm gonna place this right about where number 16 would be. Each one of those lines are increments of five. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20. So I'll go over just the 15 line a hair, and that should be sufficient to get me started and aiming the satellite dish. Now, now that I have the bolt through that, one of the main uh, questions I get asked is how tight do all these bolts need to be? They need to be tight, but not overly torqued and not too loose. That's all I can say is once you feel it hit, just give it a little torque and that's it. You don't have to tighten it down as if it was going to hold the house from falling. So the next step once we put the LMB uh, bracket under the LMB uh, pole is to attach the reflector bracket to the satellite dish. Right, now we're ready to attach the reflector bracket to the reflector itself. You're going to need four carriage bolts number 11 and you're going to need four number 18 nuts. So let's begin. I always like to set up the dish where I can put my hands underneath so I can place the carriage bolts under there. I'll take the bracket, arrow pointing up to the top of the satellite dish. Usually it has writing and the, the reflector bracket always attaches from off the center down a little bit. We'll take the carriage bolt, slip it through the square hole. We'll take a nut, spin it on there, and do all four just like that. Okay, there we go. Again, just snug, but not overly torque where you're gonna strip the threads on these nuts. Okay. That concludes the assembly of the 7630 satellite dish by WSI. Okay, now that we assemble the satellite dish, let's proceed with the mass pipe. We will take the mass pipe number two and the mass, the bracket number one. We'll also need two number 17 nuts. We will need the number 11 uh, carriage pipe, the number 23 bolt, the number 12 carriage bolt and this is where you will also need your little crescent wrench. Now let's take the number 12 carriage bolt, place that, let's see, I'm going to attach my pole, my uh, bracket on the wall so I will need to set this up where the neck, if you're attaching this on the wall you will need this bend on the outside so the base will be the straight straight end. So I'll take the carriage bolt, place it through the square hole here. 
pass it all the way through. Take a number 17 bolt with a washer, stick it through. All right, now we'll take a number 11 carriage bolt. All right, so now we'll take another washer, put it through once you slipped your carriage bolt through the pipe onto the number one bracket. Tighten that down. All right, okay, the next step will be to take the number three support bracket, the number 23 bolt, slip that through the mass pipe, just like that. The other one as well. Oh, by the way, when you slip this into the mass pipe, make sure there are two size holes, a large one for the uh, lag bolt and a smaller one for the number 23 bolt. You want to slip this through the smaller hole and onto the pipe, just like this. And your assembly is now complete by taking a number 18 nut and slipping it through and onto that number 23 bolt. And that's it, you'll take the cap and slip it on through the top of the uh, mass pipe. And your mass pipe is not complete. All right, the next step will be to go outside and align your satellite dish.